We are now going to be working on the place wall screen or screen PW where you are going to position your floor plan image to do your wall takeoff. Before we get started placing walls, let me point out the wall transparency feature. Having walls transparent makes it easier for the user to place walls and openings. To get to the transparency settings, click on the tab 2D plans in the lower left corner of your screen. To make your walls transparent, click on the down arrow to the right of Make Walls Transparent and select Always. Of course, to see solid walls, select Never. For now, select Place Schedules for our first wall takeoff. This will only make the walls transparent when placing openings, vertical items, and rebar. To the right of this option, you can set the transparency levels of your blueprints or walls. For this project, we will set blueprints to 0% and walls will be set to 75%. This tool becomes useful when you learn how to place openings, rebar, and vertical schedule items. Next, we are going to go through the tools you have at your disposal to position your floor plan for placing walls. Note. The placement of your walls and takeoff calculations will be the same if your floor plan image is perfectly flat or if it is tilted on, let's say, a 45 degree angle. The program works within a digital environment and will see the distance from point A to point B as the same, no matter how you may perceive the image. Left click on the blue camera icon located in the lower right corner of your screen. This will open up the Graphic Options screen. This screen will allow you to change your viewpoint on your project. There are also options to turn specific graphics on and off. You can hide elevations, change your background color, and you'll also have an option to save or print your graphic from this screen. Note. Your processing and image generating capabilities may be slowed if your project is large and contains a lot of detail. You are given the ability to turn off specific graphics in Graphic Options so that you may work on your project and keep your PC performing efficiently. You will be able to turn the graphics back on at any time. We are going to leave your project in Perspective Viewpoint. You may come back and change it to Plan Viewpoint if you find you are having difficulty when positioning the plan image. Left click on the OK button and you will close the Graphic Options screen. To do wall takeoffs, you must always be in Pick Mode. You will have an easier time positioning your floor plan while in View Mode. Look in the lower right hand corner of your screen. If the button shows Pick, Click on the button and change it to view. You can use your wheels to help position the floor plan, but they are not as efficient as using the keyboard controls that we are about to cover. If you are in view mode, you should now have a red hand appear when you move the cursor over the floor plan image. Move the hand to a corner of the floor plan and left click your mouse. While holding the left mouse button down, you will be able to rotate the floor plan on its X and Y axes. Pause the walkthrough and take a minute to familiarize yourself with this tool. Next, hover the red hand over your floor plan image while you depress and hold the left mouse button. And now hold the control key on your keyboard at the same time. You should now be able to move your mouse and see your floor plan move its screen position. And finally, move the red hand over the floor plan image and depress and hold the left mouse button. Now, hold down the control and shift keys on your keyboard as well. Your plan image will zoom in and out as you move your mouse. OK. Let us put these three tools to use. Your object is to position the image so that it is flat and the district EMS title is on the right hand side of your screen. You will also want to have the image centered and zoomed in while the four corners of the building are still visible. 
I suggest you pause the walkthrough while you work on the positioning of your image. Note, not everyone has the same level of experience when it comes to working within the digital world. The positioning tools may feel awkward at first, but will become second nature through repeated usage. Now that you have your image placed where you want it, you can save its position on the screen and move it back with the click of a single button. You can save up to four preset positions for your images. In the lower right corner of the screen, you will find the numbers 1 through 4. To the right of these numbers is a button that will either say Go to Perspective Viewpoint or Save Perspective Viewpoint. We want it to say Save, so left click on it once if it says Go to. Now that it says Save, I want you to left click on the number 1 and then left click on the Save Perspective Viewpoint. That image position should now be saved to the number one button. We can test the position save by moving the image out of position with the red hand and a left click of the mouse. And then left click on the number one. After you click on the number one, your image will snap back to your saved position. This is a great tool for quickly maneuvering on large floor plans. The final tool we will discuss at this time is a targeted zoom. The targeted zoom is located in the upper right corner of your screen and looks like a set of crosshairs. Make sure you are in view mode and then left click on the targeted zoom icon. Your red handed cursor should now be a red crosshair. Position the crosshair over any portion of your plan image and press the left mouse button. The software will zoom in to the exact spot you clicked the crosshairs on. This is a great tool for moving in close to read your floor plan images. We are now ready to move on to wall placements.